Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're gonna to be looking at 10 more amazing 2D platformers available on the Nintendo Switch eShop for under $10. Now this video is part two. If you missed part one, I'll be linking it up above. Part one was number 10 to number one of my top 2D platformers. Today, we'll be looking at the rest of the list I made, which is number 20 to number 11. Of course, in the normal order of things, I would have done this list first and moved on to the top 10 in the second part. However, since it was a new series I was launching, I wanted to make sure it would catch on, and I started with the top 10. However, the games on this list are nonetheless excellent choices at under $10, so I wanted to make sure to share the list with all of you. Now, if this is your first time watching the series and you missed part one, just to qualify what I consider as a game under $10 is that it has to be regularly listed at full price under $10. So I'm not taking into account any sales prices because I want these lists to be always available to everyone that anytime you open up the Switch eShop, you're guaranteed that these games will be under $10. And don't forget that if you appreciate this video and you wanna see more, please hit the like button. It's the best way to show your support and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now, starting at number 20, I placed Mystopia. By the way, I will be including some Metroidvanias in this list, because at under $10 regular price, there are so few Metroidvanias that I can't make a separate list. However, at higher price points, the Metroidvanias will be separate and have their own section. And Mystopia at number 20 is the first game that falls sort of in that category. I would still consider it strongly more an action platformer than a metroidvania but it does have that exploration sense to it although it does force you to visit these sections in a certain chronological order but mystopia is just a simple beautiful pixelated 2d action platformer that is really a great introduction to someone who's never played in metroidvania before and wants to get just a general sense of tiny elements of that gameplay. At the same time, the game controls very, very well. However, the only thing is that it is quite short. However, at $5, that's hardly a complaint. And in my opinion, you'll be getting your money's worth. Now at number 19, I placed Metagal. Once again, this game is only $4.99 on the eShop and it's probably as close as you'll ever get to a Mega Man game clone without it actually being called Mega Man. And of course, Metagal, I've seen some mixed reviews online because basically they say they've taken the Mega Man type of gameplay, but doesn't have quite the refinement in the levels. And I sort of agree with them, but at $5, I still think you're getting an amazing experience for the money. And I had a ton of fun playing through the game. The fact that the level designs were not as perfected as a full-blown Mega Man game, didn't bother me too much, and I still think that at $5, this game is definitely worth it. On top of it, it regularly goes on sale for almost half price. Now, at number 18, I'm placing Grizzland, which is another one of those tiny Metroidvanias. However, this time the graphical design is looking like almost an Atari game, which has its own appeal to certain people. And if Mystopia only took tiny details from Metroidvania, Grizzland is nonetheless structured like a full-blown Metroidvania. The only thing, however, is it is quite short. So once again, I would find this as a great introduction to someone who wants to experience a Metroidvania without having to invest maybe 20 or 30 hours into gameplay, because most people will be able to knock Grizzland out, in my opinion, within about two to four hours, you'll be able to end the game. Of course, if you're looking at a 100% completion rate, you can squeeze a few more hours out. And that is why the game is actually not any higher on the list, is because of how short it is. Now, at number 17, we have Miles and Kilo. Now, this is an excellent old school 2D platformer at only $7.99 when it's at its full price. And this is probably, I would say the closest reference point I have to this is an old school adventure island. And Miles and Kilo is done with excellent quality and excellent fun. It is not too difficult, it's just a perfect medium point where someone who puts a little bit of time into the game will easily be able to progress from one stage to the other. The only negative point I maybe have about Miles and Kilo and why it didn't make the top 10 
is because of its maybe lack of original concepts. It's such an old school platformer that it does what it does well, it just doesn't really bring anything new to the table. Now, at number 16, I placed Goblin Sword. Now, Goblin Sword is almost always on my lists. As soon as it's on sale, I mention it on my eShop deals videos. But even at full price at $4.99, Goblin Sword is still an awesome purchase. The game itself at its base isn't that long, but the original concept that they've thrown in has added a ton of replayability because as its name implies, the Goblin Sword you're using becomes an over-important element in the game. And depending on which sword you de decide to use in each level will change totally, totally your approach and what tactics you have to use. So that is actually why I love this game and why I'm really putting it on my list of top 20 2D platformers on the Nintendo Switch. Now, at number 15 on my list, I have Onikin. Onikin is another one of those games when it's on sale are always on my lists. But even at its full price of $9.99, you still get a really decent package. Onikin is one of those traditional 80s action platformers. I mean, it resembles parts of Ninja Gaiden, other parts of Strider, but Onikin overall just has a ton of varied gameplay, where it'd be escape stages riding a hover bike, or whether it'd be standard platforming adventuring stages, Onikin has a little bit of everything that was great in 8-bit platformers. So if you want a well-rounded experience, Onikin is one of your best stops on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now, at number 14, I have Charge Kid. And Charge Kid was probably the game I had the most difficulty placing on the list. Because if I was talking about just my personal appreciation of games, I would probably even have this game in my top 10. However, I know that it's a very niche game because it is a puzzle platformer of incredible difficulty. Basically, this is a puzzle platformer for someone who does not mind trying the same stage over and over and over, sometimes maybe hitting more than 20, 30, even 40 tries to actually make it across a level. And Charge Kid does this all with an extremely minimalistic design and extremely minimalistic control scheme. However, it manages to use those very simple elements in such an original way that it really, really surprised me and actually... I fell in love with this game when I played it. Now, I actually have a full review of this game on my channel. So if you want to check it out, I invite you before purchasing it because you will get an overall idea of how the game plays out. At the same time, however, I actually gave this game a hidden gem rating, which is the highest rating I give because it does all this in a package that at its regular price is only $2.49, which is an amazing value in my opinion if you appreciate difficult puzzle platformers. Now, at number 13, I have Squidlet. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I'm a sucker for games that are made as if they came from the original Game Boy. But nonetheless, Squidlet is an awesome experience on its own. And why this game actually made the list of top 20 games is not only because I love these type of games, it's because of its regular sale price. This game is normally sold for only $1.99, but it is an amazing experience, even though the gameplay is quite short. Now, I don't quite know how to describe this game, but the best way is sort of like the old school Mario Lands from the Game Boy era. You have some, most stages are platforming stages with one single attack button. However, you do have some side scrolling flying stages and different type of elements thrown in. But basically, if you like retro old school platformers, Squidlet for only $1.99 is definitely a game you should instantly pick. Now, at number 12, I placed Zeo Drifter. Now, so far, I've given a couple of other examples on this list. But in my opinion, if you were looking for a game to introduce someone to the Metroidvania concept, but not have the game be too difficult, Zeo Drifter is actually the best and perfect choice for that person. And at only $9.99, you still get a well-rounded, completed Metroidvania package. Of course, the only thing is that it is not too difficult, which can actually be a really positive thing for some people. But if you're an ex 
expert or very experienced Metroidvania player, don't expect this game to throw you too many curveballs. However, at the same time, it's well designed. I love the graphical presentation. There are some really interesting boss fights. And at under $10, I would say it's still way worth the trial experience. So now we get to the top of our list for today. And at number 11, I placed Ghoul Boy. Now, Ghoul Boy was so close to making the top 10, and I regularly was switching places with some other of the games that actually did make the top 10 list. But in the end, it missed it by just the tiniest mark. And Ghoul Boy overall is just a well-rounded 2D action platformer with RPG elements thrown in. And overall, if you're looking for an amazing experience for a traditional 2D platformer, Ghoul Boy is probably your safest lit choice on today's list. And at only $9.99, it's hard to go wrong. And once again, if you were waiting, this game does regularly go on sale. And pretty much every time it is, it's on my list of recommended games as well. So you can always wait around for one of those sales. But even at $10, the experience is way, way worth it for this game. You just get a well-rounded, 2D action platformer. It's as simple as that. If you're looking to spend less than $10 and you want a safe choice, Ghoul Boy is your answer. So that's pretty much it for our list for today. And we've now rounded off the top 20 2D platformers, in my opinion, available on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now, don't worry, these lists are far from over and our next stop will be the price point of between $10 and $30 games. So you know I love hearing from all of you, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the video down below. At the same time, as I said at the beginning of this video, the best way to show your support is to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, oh, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.